It is that time of year again as we face a government shutdown and why we may want to prepare now as the stakes are higher than ever and lawmakers are digging in. I have all the details for you here in the video and what we need to know about this as well as what it would mean for all of us, our money and everything else that's going on right now pretty important. Therefore, let's get into it and talk about all the details. First off, can I ask a huge favor of you? If you have not done so yet, please make sure to like the video with the big thumbs up button right down below. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Also, if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as well with the big subscribe button down below. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and let's talk through the details. All right, September, here we are again. It's historically a very busy time of year. Lawmakers returning from their long five-week vacation and um, coming back and maybe getting a little bit of work done and their time is very limited. Same old song and dance, same thing that we deal with every single year. But like I said just a minute ago, the stakes are higher than ever this year because they have some very controversial legislation on the table right now. It has already been passed through the House. It has gone onto the Senate. Senate has not even touched it yet, but they want to get this thing done and looks like they are attaching it to the full year fiscal budget, which must be done by basically the end of the day, September 30th. Otherwise, we'd be going into a government shutdown right away at 12 o'clock, 12.01 a.m. on October 1st. Okay, so this is pretty important. And um, yeah, like I said earlier, high stakes. And um, also with the election coming up, guess what? Do you think that these lawmakers are going to want to flex on a lot of these issues right now? Not really, right? Are they looking for a reason to point the finger at everybody else and say, look, they did it, right? They're all gonna sit there and blame each other rather than looking in the mirror and saying, hey, maybe our personal actions caused all this, right? So they can't uh, take personal responsibility for anything, but rather they love to blame everybody else. So anyway, uh, that's what's going on. So here's the thing. I wanna point this out for you because so incredibly important right now with a potential government shutdown. Now, what's the likelihood of it happening? Who knows? I mean, here's the thing. We don't know yet. Historically, over the last several years, they've been coming in and passing a CR, continuing resolution, which continues to keep the government funded at the current levels out until some identified date in the future. It could be October 15th. It could be November 1st. It could be anything, whatever they decide, however much longer they think they need to get all of the, the funding done for basically the entire 2025 fiscal year, whatever they think it would take, uh, as far as time to get that done. Now, let me talk about the legislation really quickly that they're basically negotiating, that they're arguing about. It's called the SAVE Act, okay? So you can look up it if you want to, SAVE Act, okay? That's the name of it. But I'll tell you really quickly and why there's so much controversy about this. But basically what the SAVE Act is, is they basically want to say that you need to show a proof of citizenship. Basically, you know, only citizens in the United States are allowed to vote. That's basically what they're saying, okay? Now, they basically don't want to allow anybody that's not a U.S. citizen to be able to vote in the federal election, right? The presidential election that's going on in like very um, a short amount of time here, right? Not very long from now, literally just weeks from now. So that's what's going on with this and why there's so much controversy about it. Republicans are basically saying, hey, you should be a U.S. citizen to be able to vote in our federal election. And Democrats are saying, no, let's just open it up. Let everybody, right? Everybody out there, we can just vote. No problem whatsoever, right? So again, uh, that's kind of the major problem. Now, obviously, there's a little bit of um, differences to that, but you kind of get my point there with the analogy I was making, right? Um, but anyway, that's kind of the major problem that's going on and why we may be facing this time a potential government shutdown because they may just dig in so much to the point that they're like, hey, we are not budging on this. We are not uh, giving in to you know, the other side, whatever that happens to be, whatever the decision is, you know, both sides alike saying, we're not, we're not giving into this, okay? That's why it's such a big deal here. Now, if we go into a government shutdown, would that be the end of the world? Would that be such a big deal in the whole world? Well, it depends on how you look at it, right? Some services would be impacted. Now, again, I want to point this out really quickly. I know a lot of you here in the community receive fixed income benefits like Social Security, SSDI, Survivor, Spousal, SSI, VA benefits, SNAP benefits, uh, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, these kind of benefits. I get this question all the time. Not this year yet. I have not gotten this question yet that I've seen anyway. But in previous years, I get this question all the time, which comes in and says, hey, super worried about my SSDI. Hey, I'm super worried about my SSI. I'm, re you know, I'm worried about my, my retirement benefit. Is that going to be impacted? Is it going to be ending as a result of a government shutdown? The answer is no, not, not, not whatsoever. No, zero, nada, whatever you want me to say, okay? <laughs> no, it's not gonna impact your benefit check whatsoever. It'll not have any impact at all 
on your social security benefit. Reason being is this, okay? Now there's a law out there. Um, I've talked about it actually last year. I talked about this a couple of times because I had a lot of people coming in saying like, hey, I'm super, super worried about this. There's a law that suggests that if the government shuts down, if we default, whatever it happens to be, they still have the obligation to send out some of their essential payments and social security happens to be on that list, okay? So they have to continue doing some things even in the event of a government shutdown or even in the event of a default, like remember a couple, or what was it, like a year and a half ago or so? when we were going through this whole uh, debt ceiling issue and stuff like that, remember that whole thing? They have the obligation and they must continue making payments like Social Security and all of these federal benefits. They must continue to do that even in the event of a government shutdown and in the event of a default. So my point is, don't worry about it. Your federal benefits, your fixed income benefit, whatever it happens to be, you're fine. Don't worry about it whatsoever, okay? Um, but anyway, would it disrupt other services? Yeah, absolutely it will, right? It depends. So here's the thing. If the government shuts down for like an hour, two hours, five days, is it really going to impact us? Probably not really. For the most part, not that much, right? I would say like very minimally. If it closes down for a week or two weeks or three weeks or a month, is that going to impact us? Yeah, every day that goes on is going to impact a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more, right? Uh, but at the end of the day, I would anticipate this. They always come in and they have these, you know, stiff negotiations and we're holding our ground and we're digging in and we're not moving, we're not budging. And then sure enough, last minute, what do they do? They come in literally an hour, hour and a half, minutes before the potential government shutdown were to take place. They come in and say, well, we passed a CR and um, we're going to continue this out until, you know, some date, whatever it happens to be, uh, October 20th, I don't know, just whatever they decide, uh, they push it out, you know, probably not Nove uh, October 20th, usually they do like mid-November-ish time, gives them about a month and a half or so uh, is what they historically do, and then they come back and they, you know, do nothing for basically the next month and a half, and then they say, oh, quick, do something, and then they do nothing again, and they, you know, they do this whole game for like three months, they do it all the time, right, so anyway, I would anticipate that's to happen again, but could we see a shutdown? Sure, absolutely. There's no uh, rule that says we can't shut the government down. 100% we can shut it down, right? They can and they might, we don't know. And again, considering such a pivotal time of year right now, I don't know. I mean, it's gonna be weird, okay? Because they need to have this legislation passed literally about, what, five weeks before the presidential election that puts a lot of things at stake, right? I mean, a lot of people can either gain a lot of momentum or lose face in the event of passing a, a new federal you know, budget for the entire 2025 fiscal year. If they pass something that was not uh, beneficial to the people or you know, people didn't agree with, I mean, they could lose a lot of momentum uh, going into the election with that. Again, I'm not saying either side in particular, I'm just saying anybody, doesn't matter who it is, both sides are kind of at stake here. So I don't know, I kind of feel like they're probably not gonna do anything too nuts, anything too crazy with this because there's way too much at stake here, right? If anything, they might just continue to push out uh, continued resolutions or at least maybe just one beyond the election, see how the whole thing shakes out and then come back and be like, all right, okay, let's negotiate this sucker out, right? So I don't know, but um, this is what we're facing yet again. Same thing happens every September and we don't know. We won't know until you know a few weeks go by here and uh, we get right up to the timeline. Uh, they usually wait until the very last minute, by the way. So I would not be shocked one bit at all if we see something passed, as in like a continuing resolution to continue to keep the government funded, like literally on September 30th at like 10.30 p.m. Seriously, that's what they do, okay? And then the president will roll out of bed and he'll come out and, wow, well, what am I doing? Uh, where am I, right? And he'll try to figure out how to sign it, uh, you know, at like 11.30 p.m., something like that, okay? So, sorry, I know I'm being kind of mean here, but <laughs> that's kind of the reality of the situation. <laughs> I, I kind of like to rip on all of them just because it's so kind of easy because they don't do their job, right? I mean, here's the thing. Just do something, represent the people, and um, just do what they're supposed to be doing there, right? Which is working on the behalf of the American people and the country as a whole. Are we seeing a whole lot of that these days? I don't know about that, right? I think we'd all kind of question like, I really don't know if they're really working in our best interest right now, right? I don't know. I mean, that's just, I think a lot of us probably agree with that. So anyway, hope this helps you again. If you're receiving fixed income benefits, don't worry about it. You're fine, okay? Uh, shut down or not, you'll be fine. Okay, we could shut down the government for five months. You'll be fine. 
It's not going to impact your benefit whatsoever. You'll be totally fine. Make sense? Anyway, hope this helps you. Again, please subscribe down below. Like the video. Big thumbs up. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I'll be here for you every single day, bring it, uh, bringing you the details, talking about it, uh, breaking it all down, discussing anything for you, ripping on lawmakers. Why not? I'll do it for you. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's easy pickings, right? Uh, so anyway, enjoy your day. Again, please subscribe, like the video. Check out the other videos here on the channel, the 5,000 or so videos here on the video library which by the way, I've hand selected some very popular videos for you down below in the description at the top of the comment section. Check out those videos as well. Otherwise, right now showing up on your screen as well, you'll see some videos, check out those. And thanks so much. See you again in just a minute.